Hey guys, my name is Star. Welcome to my channel. I'm just a mom of three boys who loves makeup. And today I thought that we would do a get ready with me using some of the newer products that I've gotten in recently. So if that seems like something that you guys are interested, then just stick around. Okay, so I recently got in uh, the collab palette from Teresa is Dead. This is what it looks like. It's called uh, Lethal is Dead and it's uh, with her, uh, her and Lethal Cosmetics. I love Teresa is Dead. If you guys don't follow her on YouTube or Instagram, first of all, I don't know why you're even watching me and not watching her because she's like, she's like my soulmate. Um, but anyway, so I got this palette in, but I also got these two palettes in from um, Alter Ego. I got in the, uh, what is this? The Luster Charm and the Shadow Kiss from Alter Ego. This is the Natasha Denona Glam Dupe right here and I don't own the glam palette and this is the Pat McGrath dupe and I don't own um that one either I loved Natasha Denona's formula I have several of her smaller ones her bigger five pans I've got two of her like midi size ones I think is what she calls them but um to be honest even though the glam and the bronze and all of those palettes are raved about so well um they're kind of not what I would want to spend my money on. It's like a $65 palette. So, it's not what I would, but Alter Ego is a great dupe. I have, I think, all of the Alter Ego palettes that they've come out with except for um, the Sultry dupe because I actually already have that one. Even though I got uh, the, I have the Love palette from Natasha Denona and yet I still bought the uh, one from Alter Ego. But... I did a more neutrally look on my last um, video, so I think we're going to go ahead and use the Lethal is Dead today. Now, um, these palettes, they shipped out very, very fast. The only problem was was that, um, can you guys see me? Sorry, I'm still getting used to this. Uh, was that I hit the wrong shipping, and so my shipping came in. <laughs> it came in after everybody else. So, I'm going to start out with, I did a look using the um, blues on my Instagram. That reel will be up later. But, I think today I'm going to start out with the final girl. Um, I'm going to use that. I'm going to put it all through my crease. And, guys, these, I love Lethal's formula. It is not my favorite indie brand formula. But, <clears throat> it's a pretty, it's a pretty good one. Um... I do like it better than some of the other ones. I recently, um, if you guys know, I have tons of palettes that I got a while ago that I have not went through. There's like an obscene amount up there. But, um, so I recently tried the Menagerie Cosmetics Feral Palette. I bought it a while ago. Let me show you guys what it looks like. The packaging is gorgeous on this. And the colors are very pretty but the shimmers are very chunky and the matte formula is hard to blend out in my opinion so and their shipping is really expensive and I know it's because well I know indie brand shipping is usually more expensive anyway but their palettes are very very heavy I mean it's a very luxe packaging um but I don't know I need to continue to test that one out but I don't know if I would say that that one's actually worth it in my opinion um granted that is the only menagerie product that i own other than i own some of the liquid lipsticks and the liquid lipsticks stay on a really long time they are really uh drying so it's not my favorite formula um two of them i like very very well one of them is like not my favorite but it's also not the best color on me and it was probably my fault for I mean that's not their fault that they you know I, I chose wrong but um so we're just running final girl all in the crease and we're blending and buffing use circular like motions and then uh big swooping motions to really get the blend as good as you can um I have hooded eyelids so I like to try to take mine up as far as possible um because when I go to put on the shimmer, it's going to go above onto my, this portion of my lid. Um, so, I like to try to fake a cut crease most of the time. 
Guys, that's my kids in the background. Hang on just a second. Okay, I'm back. So I just did a little more blending of the final girl. And right now we are going to go into Vengeful Spirit. This purpley one right here. And I'm going on it with my Refer 26 brushes. Guys, I love Refer brushes. They are just the best brushes out there. And so I'm taking this in my outer V. I'm being very careful because this shade is pigmented. I did buy the uh, gel liners from this too. I bought the whole collection. Um, Teresa is Dead is my favorite YouTuber of life. And she's just so funny. And I swear if I met her in real life, I think we would be best friends. But um, my husband was with me when I... Like, I was trying to get on the site, and I was having so many troubles. It kept giving me, like, bad URLs and stuff. And I'm, like, freaking out. And my husband's like, it's not that big of a deal, Star. And I'm like, you have no idea. It is a huge deal if I can't get this. So, but I got it. Even though I had to wait longer than the rest of everybody because I clicked the wrong shipping. I think shipping was supposed to be, like, $15.99 or something. And I don't know if I just clicked the other one thinking it was the faster shipping or if it had automatically defaulted me to the other shipping but the other shipping i paid was like 8.99 now this comes from i forget where's this brand from the germany right yeah um so i mean it got here and it got here before they said they would uh, it would because it wasn't supposed to get here until august something and it got here um probably the beginning of this week. So like July 19th or 20th. So, and I'm just, I'm darkening it up. I'm doing a blend right here. Um, I'm not going to take this too far in because I don't want the inner part of my eyes to be so deep. Um, but anyway, so how, how have uh, how has y'all's week been? Now, my, I'm looking for a brush. Um, my son, my youngest son turned four. Guys, I have brushes everywhere. Hang on. There we go. Um, he turned four on Monday and we had just got back from the beach. I told you guys last week we were going, I'm going to use Ancient Evil all over my lid. This color is so pretty. I haven't used that one. I've used, um, this one, this one, this one, and that one. So, we're going in with these today, and I'll have to check out these two um, later on. I'll probably do another, like, reel on Instagram or TikTok with them. Um, but I love Lethal's shimmers. I actually have another Lethal palette. Uh, anyway, we got back from the beach, and it, we've just been back to school shopping uh, this week and trying to get everything ready for school. Um, I have some training to do to start on my new job. And I'm also, uh, my son plays football, my oldest one. And I have team mom training I have to go through because I decided to be team mom. Look at that. That shimmer is just so pretty. Um... So, I have that to do. So, and I've just been trying to get the house in order. You know, laundry caught up from vacation and all of that. And just get everything situated before school starts when I start back to work. And, um, like, meal planning and stuff like that. So, you see how it, because my eyes are hooded, it automatically goes above my crease. So, what I do is I just take and I just put it above my natural crease because it's going to go there anyway. I mean, I could use glitter glue and stuff, but for like everyday looks, I just assume not to worry about all of that. And I'm not doing an actual cut crease. So I just bring it up just a little bit. And that way when my eyes are like open, you can see just, you know, a little bit of the glitter. I mean, the shimmer peeking out. So, all right. And we're going to move on to face. Um, Let's see. Do I have a new primer. I actually do. Um, I'm trying to use this one up for the Project Pan. Um, it's the e.l.f. Poreless, Pu Pu uh, Poreless Putty Primer. I really like this one, and I am going to use it right here in where my pores are the biggest, but we are going to try out this primer for the rest of my face. It is the Laura Mercier uh, Illuminating 
pure canvas primer. I got this in a BoxyCharm. I unsubscribed from BoxyCharm. Um, last month, they were doing the, uh, I think it was the Anastasia Takeover box or whatever. And I had the palette. And to be honest, guys, I just... I found a lot of hidden gems in BoxyCharm. It's not that. It's just I don't need... If I want to buy makeup, I want to make sure it's something that I, like, really want at this point. Otherwise, it's just not... It's not worth it. I mean, even though it's only, like, $25 a month, it just... It's it's just not worth it to me if it's not something that I'm, like, crazy about. Um, so, now we're going to go in and I don't have a new foundation. I'm trying not to buy foundations because, um, I have like over 40 guys. It's kind of ridiculous. This one's getting low. I'm like having trouble pumping it out. It's actually starting to get such a big, to be a big of a pain that I'm actually just thinking about going ahead and declay. It's not my favorite. Um, this is the Maybelline uh, Dream Radiant Liquid in the shade 40. It matches my body, not my face. I've already told you guys this in the last video, but I'm going to go over it again for the people that I'm sure. What did I just do with that palette? Um, that'll say something, but it matches the rest of my body. Um, anyway, I'm trying. so I'm trying not to buy any foundation, um, which is hard because, of course, I mean, I have, but I'm trying not to buy anything new recently. You know, lots of tinted moisturizers and stuff are uh, coming out, and I've bought a couple, but I'm really not a tinted moisturizer person unless it gives, like, amazing coverage, which some of these that are coming out are pretty good coverage so i'm just taking um my fake beauty blender i think this is the elf one um and just pressing it in um and then going down my neck so that it matches my my chest area um but yeah i have so many that i need to get rid of and it's of course tinted moisturizer season and that's not you know really my thing i gotta get my Knows very well. I wear glasses, so it always, no matter what I do, comes off there anyway. But, all right. And so, for concealer, do I have a new concealer? I don't, actually. Um, so, I'm just going to go in with my Conceal and Hydrate Concealer. I love this concealer. It's good for under eyes. I also like it for cut creases. Um, and it doesn't. Go into my fine lines. Now, I do have real oily skin, but I don't feel like, I mean, I don't have oily skin under my eyes. So, um, my eyes aren't particularly dry either. So, I don't need like any, anything special except for it to like not make my eyes look like terrible. And this is a shade or two lighter than my skin tone just because I like to brighten under here. So... But yes, summer is coming to a close here. My kids start back to school early August. <sighs> I'm so excited. And like that. And I'm going to... I have makeup everywhere. I still haven't really unpacked as much as... I should have since we came back from vacation. I've just been kind of having... A lazy week. Um, I am going to use my ColourPop F1 uh, powder brush. I got this in that Limoncello collection. And I've been using the Jaclyn Hill to like set under my eyes that brightening one. But I just, I hadn't been feel like, I haven't been feeling like going through the work of using like five or six different powders to set my face and I'm not cr doing any cream today it's I'm just staying at home it's laid back and chill and to be honest I'm probably when I get done with this <laughs> going to take a few pictures wipe it off and then I got to do a couple Instagram uh reels because I usually try to keep several in my drafts um and uh they're getting kind of low. Hang on, that's my kids okay. again. Um, so, we're not doing cream, but I did want to talk to you about these uh, e.l.f. putty bronzers. Um, I bought two of them. 
Um, Ulta forgot to put one in my order, so uh, I had to call them back. This is the shade. See, they don't have the shade names on here. I think this one is tan lines and the other one i ordered was honey drip guys these are like six dollars um and they're really good i like them i don't know what i've only seen a couple videos um some people are saying they like them some people are saying they don't so i'm not like 100 percent sure what the consensus is with everybody else but um i like them no problem i did get this bronze goddess um bronzer from estee lauder um not too terribly long ago. And this is in the shade light 10. And I'm just going to take and bronze up my face. This is sort of a um, warmer bronzer. Typically, I like mine a little more neutral because sometimes the orange, am I in focus, um, doesn't look the best on me. I tend to go heavy handed on bronzer. So, I have to be careful when the bronzers are not quite as warm. I mean, uh, when they are more warm. And then, I know, I'm. Uh, you don't have to do this unless you're contouring, but it's just a habit anyway. And All right, so, what are we looking like? What are we looking like on camera? I don't... I don't know how well it's shown on camera, but I'm afraid if I put it any more on. So, anyway, yeah, today's just kind of like um, a filming day for me. Now, I got this ColourPop blush. It was from the Limoncello Collect. Well, it's not. It wasn't from the Limoncello Collection when it launched on ColourPop's website. I found this when it came out on Ulta. And I think since then, ColourPop has put these out. But I think there were two shades. I actually don't know if I bought both of them. I might only bought this one. But this is in the shade Rustica. And I just thought it was a really pretty kind of rusty color that would look pretty with the eyes. And I'm taking it on the Refer 24. This came out in the concept store not too terribly long ago. And uh, I've been using it for blush. I really, like I said, I love Refers brushes. There's and Sigma. Now, I don't own any luxury brushes, guys. I cannot. I just, I can't justify spending hundreds of dollars on those Beautylish brushes like the Sonya G and the Wayne Goss. I am sure that they are fabulous, but I have brushes that I like that are cheap. I also really love uh, BH Cosmetic brushes and uh, Jessup brushes, and you can get those on Amazon. I think uh, Make Me Up Missa uses them and talks about them all the time on her YouTube channel, the Jessup ones, and they are really, really good. My kids are going at it upstairs. Ugh. So, I think I'm going to use, what highlight do I want to use? Do I have a new one here? Let me, let me just grab this whole basket and see. Um... I don't have a particularly, like, new, new powder highlight. Um, hang on. I'm telling you, my kids are driving me crazy. So, it was my son's fourth birthday, and, of course, he got birthday gifts. And now, all of my kids are fighting over my four-year-old's birthday gifts, and they just will not quit. They got this huge truck that came from um, Target. Uh, my mom bought it for him, and it's got, like, this huge um crane and then the boom goes down and dude it's like it's really big and it was pretty cheap at target and they just will not quit even my 10 year old so i don't have a new highlight um i have like the jacqueline hill and stuff like that but today we're just gonna go with the good old um wet and wild mega glow highlighting powder in the shade blossom glow i think it'll go good with this color i have a pretty good dent in it i'm excited about that um so we're just gonna use this let me open up my palette so that I can, and I go a little ham on the highlighter. I would tell you what Teresa says when you use highlighter like this, but I have to try to keep my channel PG in case somebody I know sees it. And I went a little too crazy with it on this side, so I'm just buffing it out with my powder brush. One of my kids are hollering. I cannot wait until school starts back and they're not around each other constantly because all they do is fight during the summer um taking my ColourPop no filter setting spray guys if you haven't tried ColourPop 
one, I don't know where you've been forever, but I just love their products. And then I just do this all around to set it in. Um, I'm not going to use the liners from Lethal that came with this because, huh, to be honest, I'm not sure how good I would be at using those um, on camera. It takes me five or six tries to use them in everyday life when I'm trying to film. So I'm sitting over here trying to look past all of the crap that's on my vanity at what shade of eyeliner I want to do. And I think... Should we go with this? No, I think that's too warm. Um, Give me a second so I can holler at my kids again. Okay, guys, I'm back. G give this video a thumbs up if you are one of the moms that have to stop everything every five minutes because your kids are arguing. If you feel me, give me a thumbs up. Um, I went ahead and applied my eyeliner. I used the NYX, NYX Faux Black shade um, Oxblood just to... Uh, Eyeline, and then I'm going back into that deep vengeful spirit with a refer 03 brush and I'm just taking it right out here and connecting it can you see to the shade right here and same on the other side guys my eyes never perfectly match I have been trying to work on that recently trying to get the shape the same but that's not that's like not an easy thing to get. And like I said, I'm not a makeup artist. And to me, this one always seems like the better eye, even though it's my left eye. But when I actually like take pictures or on camera, my right eye, of course, because that's the hand I use, is the better one. But when I'm looking at myself, I swear like this one looks better while I'm doing it. Um... And then I'm taking this same pencil little brush and I'm going into the shade, can you see, Final Girl, which is the first shade that we use. And just continuing to put that all along the bottom. And you know what, guys? I don't even know. If I'm going to put this... I've been trying so hard recently to like get engagement and stuff better on my Instagram. And I swear the algorithm is just, and I know we're not like meant to know what the algorithm is, but if I post something and it does well, and then I post something that like, let's say I posted on a Tuesday and I posted on a Tuesday the next week at the same exact time, something that got like 4,000, you know, views like on my reels gets like under 200 the next time. So I'm like, I don't know. So, it, it doesn't matter what day you post, what time you post, like, none of that. It's, it's, it's starting to be kind of, like, disheartening. Like, I'm honestly, I'm doing better over on TikTok. I'm, my stuff's very consistent over there. You guys ought to follow me on TikTok if you aren't already. I do post a little bit more about my kids, um, over there, I posted a video of them on the beach, flat out fighting um, during vacation. It was pretty funny. Well, I thought it was, anyway. Um, and I'm just using the Essence mascara that I always use. And crap, I got it on the top part of my eye right there. I always do that. So I'm just going to, of course, let it dry and then I'll fix that. Um, but brows are the same. I don't ever change my, uh, eyebrows or my, uh, mascara. I just use them until they're gone. This is the ABH brow definer in soft brown. I've told you guys it's not my favorite. The thing is too big. I guess it's great if you don't have a lot of eyebrows, but for me, and then the Milani, um, clear brow gel i'm just and you guys know brows are not my favorite thing to do i mean i feel like my brows don't look terrible and i'm definitely not an instagram brow person i tried um filling it in like them um a lot when i first started and it was just really i felt you could tell 
they were fake on my face no matter what products I used. And I felt like it just made them a naturally large for my face. So I just keep it simple. I feel like I'm I'm pretty lucky that my brows are as good as they are considering I grew up where in the time where we all shaved them off. Um I used to have like half eyebrows. Um oh I'm so glad I'm not back in those days. Some some things I miss from that time, but <sighs> all right. So that's pretty much where we're at with the face right now. I'm just doing, like I said, a simple look. I don't have any new, no, I don't have any new lip products that, well, I got this one from Alter Ego um, when the other packages came, but it's like an orange and it's not going to go with this look. So I'm just lining my lips with this essence pencil. Like I said, I don't like it. It's really scratchy. I'm just trying to use it up. There's no reason to toss it. And it's not something <clears throat> I would want to give to a family member anyway because it's so terrible. So, I think I'm going to use this shade. Let's see. Let's... What does that look like? Mm. No. I have like this basket of lippies and I try to only pick lip products from in there during the month. I think this one will go good. This is fairly new. This is the NYX uh, Lip Lingerie XXL in the shade Strip Down. Um, it's fairly new to me. I, I bought this not too long ago during one of my Ulta orders. I think they were on sale. Mm, a little darker than I thought it was going to be. And I have to be quiet and concentrate or else... I'll mess this up. Mm -hmm. Ah, see? And I messed it up anyway. I don't understand how people can talk when they're trying to do that. I'm sorry, I just can't. Okay. So, this is what we're looking like. Um, I think that's it. Guys, thanks for getting ready with me. Um, I, I know we didn't do crazy eye looks or anything like that. If you're interested in that, you should probably go follow my Instagram. Um, I'm still learning how to film and do this whole YouTube thing. Um, but thanks for watching. And remember, makeup is just for fun. And this is a no-judgment zone. And I love you. And I'll see you in my next video.